All right, guys, today I'm going to be going over the app. Just a little simple run through, you know, just in case you're not very, very familiar with the app and you have a bit of small questions, you know, just basic, simple things, you know, that are easy to find out, but you just don't want to mess around and, you know, mess things up, right? So let's go with the gauge change. Say you don't like the gauges on the default screen. So you simply, you're going to hold whichever one you don't like. Say you don't want the boost, right? But who was the other one boost? You hold it and then you get this little drop down so you can put whatever you want you know you got you say you want the clock you know you also have gear see what gear you're in you know but i keep it in boost all i have to do is hold and then keep it in boost now if you have uh, the map the map gauge right say you want to switch maps right away there's also the a different way that you could do it but I don't have it programmed to my windshield wipers. I don't. I haven't done that yet. But when I do, I'll show you guys. You just double tap on the where it says map, and then it'll bring all the maps up. And then you can simply click it, and then it'll say saving map. But since I'm not connected to my car right now, it won't. Uh, it won't show it. So, but that's how you do that, right? So you got your basic here, and like I said, if you want to switch any of them up, just hold whichever one you don't want. Say you don't want the 85 there, hold it, and then switch to gear. You know, that's it. Same again. Hold it. And then just switch it. You can put speed. You know, I'll tell you how fast you're going. Okay, now. Now, say you want to up the, update your, the firmware, right? You go to settings. Bottom right. Firmware. Where you go to the bottom. Again. Advanced. GB420. The bottom. And you go firmware update. These are the ones I already have downloaded. So, you go to browse latest. And then you go to Kia, right? So once you hit that, you just, I currently have the stable, you know, these are all the betas guess it's still being like, uh, tested and stuff. Yes, but I like, I'd rather just run it on the safe side. So I have the beta. I downloaded the beta. As you can see, it's the Kia V22. You go back, right? Once you click it, it'll download and then you just. And when you want to install, make sure you're in your car, you're close by to your car, and then you click on it, and then it'll start downloading and installing on the j before. Now, say you want to switch the display, because it's also different displays, right? This is just one that's already there. So you just go to settings, right? You go to the same thing, j before the bottom, then you go app settings, and then you go to gauge settings. And now I have, and you go to the very top, gauge theme. Right, they have the needle needle is one I have. You can go to bar gauge. Once you click it, you see the little check mark, it's already there. So you just hit back, 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 and then you go display. Boom. You got a different type of gauge. These are this pretty nice, not gonna lie. And then you if you want to record your your times and logs and all that, you hit start logging. I have one log here. Uh, I did map two with launch control. And at the bottom it says my zero to sixty was four point four. Not my very best, but that's what it was on map two. Now you do gotta put into consideration that I am a rear wheel drive, not an all wheel drive. All wheel drive have done way better, I've heard and I've seen. So they're high threes, low threes, you know, really, really good. So um, now let's go back settings, JP4 tuning. Now you go to app settings, gauge settings, and then you have the circle one. All right, go back, 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 display. You have that one as well. Same thing with these, you hold and you change. All right, say you want to, you don't want to change it, you accidentally held it, just simply click on the same one and it'll keep the same one. I'll take you back to the same one. I honestly like the, the other gauge, the one that I had first. So it's the one that I'll be using. Wait, no, needle. But you can also change the colors. Um, see, I have multi is the one I have. Oh, I mean, I guess that's the one that comes with it, but you can post it, also put red. And with the ones that have the little bars, instead of the bag being blue, it'll be red. Or it being red, you can change it to white, stuff like that, you know. And this is your boost gauge. Default is 24. Unless you're running, like, a upgraded turbos. I don't think you'll over go over 24. Um, what else most important? Um... You got the updates. If you're running water meth or you're planning to run water meth, here's the basic uh, table. 
you got your purge if you don't know what purge is basically cleans say you have a small gap in your uh, hose where the, where the, where the water meth runs through um, you can lose power eventually by uh, having small gaps of air so make the purge is just uh, it flushes it a little bit and it takes off it, it, it like pushes some out and then it'll ha make sure you have a hundred percent water meth but that's where you set it up you know and then what else um, and then how to log you just go to uh, display and it's connecting but I'm not connected to my car so it's not gonna show much and then you hit start log and then it'll start logging that's and then it'll read how fast you're gonna it'll read all that for you once you hit stop it'll it'll log here you know and then it also has the the graph let me flip this real quick got your speed it has everything that you need here and basically if you can you see speed rpms target and all that good stuff but yep that's basically it this is basically like the, the basic stuff you'll you'll probably need but oh and all oh, the codes my bad the codes so basically if you hit codes you hit read codes i'm not connected but you hit read codes and then it'll show you uh, the codes to pop up but if it doesn't have codes it'll say no codes and that's it this also has like it'll email you can email it to somebody or that would say you don't know how to read them right you can also if you see here it'll in detail tell you if specifically every single thing that you want to know that happened on that log and if you don't know how to read it you can just simply send it to somebody and they could ex tell you hey well this much rpm or this this and that you know but it's a pretty neat app you know it reads basically what i like to see is my transmission temp and my water temp since i uh I like to launch control a lot and like, you know, burn out, make sure my transmission is not overheating and I let it cool down before I do my next launch and stuff like that. But pretty, pretty nice app by them, you know. And like I said, so if you want to swatch, if you want to switch maps, just double tap the map in the bottom right. And then it'll make, bring the map screens up. You click whichever one you want. And it'll say saving. And then once it's saved, the green, you see how in map zero, it's green. It'll move to where the map that you have currently running and then it'll display where it says map zero it'll display it there but if you have any other questions guys just let me know and um just drop a comment and i'll make sure to respond to you guys appreciate it guys don't forget to like and subscribe thank you